Thank you for joining us this afternoon for the uh, Fort Worth Fire Department Tierney, Vaughn, Fitzhugh, and Stonegate Water and Sewer Improvement Project. If, um, please, first of all, please mute yourself during the presentation. If you have a question, you can post it in the chat in the bottom right hand of the corner of the screen, and we will address those questions at the presentation. The link to the project page is in the chat if you want to go ahead and copy that down. If the easiest way to find this project on the City of Fort Worth website is to put 102785-2 in the search bar, and it will take you directly to the page. A YouTube video of this WebEx meeting will be posted to that project page. If you don't want to watch a video, we will also have summary FAQs on that same page, and those should be posted by Tuesday, March 29th. If you have any questions, your project man manager is Dina Johnson. Her contact information is in the chat, and it's also in this PowerPoint. I'm going to hand this off to Dina. Thank you for attending this design meeting today. Um, we're going to start with uh, We're going to start with the agenda. We have introduction, project overview, project area, frequently asked questions. Your design project team include myself, I'm Dina Johnson, telephone number 817-392-7866, dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. Engineering design consultant is RLG, Brent Lewis is the project manager. Project overview. Existing water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Randall Mill Road to the north, Williams Road to the east, Crenshaw Avenue to the south, and Binkley Street to the west. This capital improvement project is in Council District 5. Construction may impact the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth and historic Randall Mills Village Alliance. Project Overview. We have water and sewer replacement on Tierney Road from Old Handley Road to North Hampshire. We have a sewer replacement in an easement between Tierney Road and Parker Street from South Hampshire Boulevard to Old Handley Road. We have sewer replacement on South Hampshire Boulevard from 150 feet east of the South Hampshire at Tierney Road intersection to 65 feet east. We have sewer replacement in an easement north of Old Handley Road from 150 feet northeast of the Tierney Road at Old Handley Road intersection to 150 feet northeasterly. We also have a sewer replacement in an alley west of Bond Boulevard from Bitka Avenue to south of Birchall Road and from north of Birchall Road to 150 feet north. Sewer replacement in an easement between Crenshaw Avenue and Fitzhugh Avenue from South Collard Street to Bishop Street. Sewer replacement in an easement north of Stone Gate Drive from 100 feet north of the Stone View Circle at Stone Gate Drive North, intersection to 1050 easterly, then 250 feet southeasterly. Commonly asked questions. Why are you doing this project? Fort Worth prioritize water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV, closed circuit TV inspection. This is where we install a camera inside the pipe to tell us the condition of the pipe, edge of the line, line material, and whether there are lead or cast iron water service lines. In this instance, the project was created because of the water cast iron pipe initiative the city of Fort Worth is implementing to reduce the amount of water main breaks, as well as the condition and age of the sanitary sewer lines in the area. Do you replace the water service line up to my house? We replace the city owned service line to the property line. We also replace the water meter and meter box and will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. 
The service line from the water meter to your home or business is considered private plumbing. And in the event of a leak, repairs need to be done by a licensed plumber at the homeowner's expense. Will you need access to our property? This construction is in the public right of way and or in utility easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. A new sewer clean out will be installed at the property line. The sewer clean out provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from the temporary to the new line. These switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will, will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above the ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line during the warmer month is based on the average of the previous month's usage. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for that day. You will be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it's time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. What part of the sewer line are customers responsible for? The city side of the line starts at the main in the street and goes to the customer's sewer clean out. The customer side of the service line goes from the sewer clean out to the house and includes all the plumbing inside the house. Are we getting a new curb, gutter, and sidewalks? Existing curb, gutter, sidewalks, and driveways will not be replaced except in certain circumstances, which include those that are damaged by the contractor during construction. The contractor may need to remove and replace some curb and gutter and sidewalks to restore services. The contractor will also remove and replace driveway approaches that are currently have water meters located in the approach that must be relocated. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and videos of their property before construction commences. Damage resulting from the contractor's activity during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the water and sewer construction affect my irrigation? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. Are there, are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinklers during the time of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Watering by handheld hose, drip irrigation, or soaker hose is allowed at any time. 
twice a week irrigation system or sprinkler schedule with assigned days for all water customers. The schedule on Monday, there's no watering allowed. On Tuesday and Friday, non-residential sites such as apartment, businesses, parks, and common areas. On Wednesday and Saturday, residential addresses ending with even numbers. On Thursday and Sunday, residential addresses ending with odd numbers. Will there be lane closure during construction? We will know more once we have a contractor on board. Generally, there will be one lane closure when the contractor is installing the water and sewer lines. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hours of constructions are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Timeline. There is a, this is a design meeting. The next steps include finalizing the design, advertising the project for bids, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, pre-construction meeting with the contractor and inspector, a community construction meeting to update those impacted by the project construction starts. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website. This is the link below. We can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number 102785-2 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Contact myself, I'm Dina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number 817-392-7866. Email address dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, water main breaks, sewer backs up 24 hours a day. You can call 817-392-4477, select option one. For non-emergency water call center, you can call from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Number is 817-392-4477, close city holidays. Download the My FW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. With that, I want to thank you for joining us on this presentation. Thank you. Dina, we don't have any questions in the chat, but I do see Mayor Pro Tem Gina Bivin. Gina, would you like to say anything? Oh, for hi, Council Member. Hi. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Ms. Bivin? Gina, we can't hear you. Oh, I said good afternoon, Ms. Bivins. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, everyone? Okay, we can hear you, Dina. All right, Dina, we see you. Okay. <laughs> okay, anybody have any questions, uh, something we might have missed? Okay, thank you all for coming. Bye, Dina. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good afternoon.